All right. Oh, I forgot to ask, did you go to uh, uh, Leslie Johnson's service yesterday? Yes. How did it I all did. go? It was nice. They had indicated that it was supposed to be uh, a cemetery service, and it was a nice chapel that was there on the cemetery grounds. Oh, good. And they had it there. Um, so we did not go to do anything at the grave at the uh, grave site. Mm -hmm. It was a nice. There must have been oh, I'd say um just a modest 30, 30 people or so mm -hmm. there. Um, the chapel is nice and intimate, and mm -hmm. the service was a sweet, humble, simplistic service. It was really, really sweet. Five people gave their expressions. Um, it was Julie, of course, started it off because Aww, she, they, were was, super close. they were really close. And then mm -hmm. uh, the person who facilitated the service was uh, uh, someone who was associated with the sheriff's department that Chevette would have known, and perhaps Reverend Michael Francis may have known too. His name is Ron Brooks, and he was a personal friend of Lessie's, and he did a wonderful job because she requested, she had it, she had it all set up, what she wanted done and who she wanted it wanted done to do. Uh, the choir was there, Candy, with about six other participants, two males and a, a few others, Julie, uh, Chevette, another lady I don't know, and Mary. And uh, they sang two of her favorite songs. And um, and there was a casket. She was not cremated, but she asked that it be a closed casket. She didn't want it open, you know. And, and come to know, I didn't know Leslie all that well, but based on the expressions that Julie, Chevette, um, Brother Brother Brooks, who facilitated um, that, they really painted a, a beautiful picture. And the mm -hmm. woman who was is her god, who asked Leslie to be her godmother, she also. They had beautiful expressions that really helped me to know who this woman that I only mm -hmm. knew in church saying hello, how are you, mm -hmm. to come to know. And it was it was really sweet. One of the sweetest, nice. modest types of services I've ever ever been a part of so was nice. Harriet was, was there was Juanita she... was there Juanita oh Brumfield yeah Georgia yeah. yeah those and and mother mother uh coffee she was there mm -hmm. um, oh I didn't know Beverly. they knew each other mm -hmm. Beverly mm -hmm. was there so though and, oh and praise be to God uh Kathy Kathy Ibarra was she really? Oh wow! Yes, uh, Kathy was, there too. was Cliff she, there? I knew her. She and Cliff are bass player. They were super close, I, I think. Know, but there was a young black man there that he had a mask on, and I did not. I didn't reference that it was him. It could have been him. Oh, okay. Been, but you know, I I don't know. But it could have been him. Okay, and um, yeah, and so she has a job because she just quickly had words and then she had to leave and go to her job say go to her job but she looked good and um think you know things seemed to be going well so uh it was really nice it was really nice so mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay harriet's not going to be on tonight okay mm -hmm. <sighs> And, all right. Well, good. I'm glad it went. Mm -hmm. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Um, are there any prayer requests? Diane, her arm is bothering her in her hand. So she's saying that uh, she'd like prayer for that. Edwards? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. she said her arm. And keep our pastor in prayer. He's fighting a bad cold. He came in for maybe about 10 minutes today. And he said right. he, he's out today. He didn't sound too good, but he uh, he said it's just a cold or something. Uh, so we'll see. See if he's back tomorrow. And uh, what Sister else? friend Gail, um, she's been having... Um, 
stomach problems really bad and her blood pressure had been out of control. Mm. Gotten somewhat back into control, but um, they can't seem to pinpoint what's going on with her. And she's really uh, nervous about it. Um, thank God for her two sons who have just surrounded her and are totally there for her. I talked to her oldest son tonight. Um, but just keep her lifted up because this is, she's she's really worried and concerned about this. So, Who was it that you said this is, Teresa? I, <laughs> Gail, her name is Gail. Oh, Gail, all right. I call her my sister, Gail. And <laughs> we, we've been connected at the hips for about 30 plus years. So, wow. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I get very many like that. Yeah. yeah. Those are special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. how's the family of your friend that passed, Michelle? They're doing all right. I mean, for the for the most part, there wasn't, there's a whole thing with that family. You know, that family had issues and wasn't close. I have not heard from uh, one friend who did attend the funeral. So um, all I can say is, you know, they had the funeral, but I don't know anything about how, you know, how it went. But the family was not one it was kind of a situation where she was the bright spot and the heart of the family. And sometimes mm. families take advantage of that kind of person. And so that's kind of the case that it was with this. Um, so, um, yeah. And I never knew the family, you know, in terms of that. I only knew her. And mostly my friends didn't know the family either. So, mm. so I'll have to hear from the one who did attend what, what that was like. Okay. And how is Eloise feeling? I know she's not here tonight, but. Um, she had a really good day yesterday. She said she was pain free. So oh. that was oh. the first time. And I don't know when, but she had nothing wrong with her. And today she said she, she had a little headache and she was feeling okay. And then she was going to take a nap and then join us but uh I couldn't get her. <laughs> we know how those naps go <laughs> yeah. I think those naps just kept going <laughs> yeah I e why I didn't go upstairs oh yeah <laughs> I know I sat down on the nice comfortable chair and ate my soup before class I'm like I need to get up and take these dogs or something because I'm way too comfortable <laughs> yes Oh my goodness. Uh, also pray for my uh, grandchildren, my granddaughter, my grandson. They're looking for jobs and just ask that mm -hmm. opens a uh, job, jobs for them, the right jobs, not just, you know, anything. Mm -hmm. so, uh, even though there's a lot of signs out there saying looking for work and everything, there seem to be some challenges. So just pray that God opens the door that they're able to find some employment. Absolutely. Okay. Diane, did you have any prayer requests? Oh, okay. She just said. Oh, yeah, it's that for Shout out to Berkeley. What she said, please. She, oh, she belongs like, to McGee, uh, McGee Baptist Church in Berkeley. And she was just saying, pray for her church and her pastor. They have a lot of community things that's going on. Like they have a food program and oh, they doing a lot as far as what development in, in Berkeley. Uh, yeah, we yeah, they have their own. They have apartments in, that they rent out to seniors, and so they're they're a very active. Yeah, so she just needs prayer for her church. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Well, who's got scripture and who's got prayer? I have a scripture. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's in Proverbs. It's the third chapter of Proverbs. And I'm reading from the NIV, the New International Version. And mm -hmm. I think I'm going to read a few. Um, I don't know that I'm going to read the whole thing. It's pretty, pretty long, good, but long. And I'm at least going to go through uh, 13 or maybe 15. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commandments in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the, in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a, father's, as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding, for she is not, she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. And that's the reading of third Proverbs chapter three, verses one through verses 18. Nice. Mm -hmm. I Heavenly Father, we come to you today in we're just so thankful, Lord, that we're able to come together and just worship and steady your word. We want to pray for the ladies and their families and their prayer requests that they have asked for, that you will be able to, you know, deliver them and help them through it. We want to pray, continue to pray for, you know, our community. We want to continue to pray for, the, you know, our world. These pe The people are don't know you, our Heavenly Father. You said if, you know, we would humble ourselves and pray, turn from our ways that you would, you know, hear us and heal our land. Lord, our soul, our bodies, everything needs to be healed. We are going back and forth, don't know what we're doing, listening to, you know, the world and not listening to your word, our Heavenly Father. We just pray that, you know, the people will come back to you, listen to you, and acknowledge your word and realize that you are king of all kings. Nothing can be done without you, our Heavenly Father. So we want to recognize that as we go forth. And so we just ask you to continue to bless. And as we study our lesson today, we pray that we have a good share and that, Lord, that you will open up things and show us the direction that you will us to go. So God, as we continue to study your word, we ask you to continue to strengthen us and be in our life. Give us that direction that we need so that we can be faithful in our, you know, in our things that you want us to do. Yes, so Lord, Lord, now we come now, just asking all these things in your son's name is for his sake we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. All right, we got Eve day three. <laughs> that woman's deep. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, right? Uh, yeah, so it's truth or consequences. 
wasn't that a sh- game show? Yeah, yes, it, it was. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right. It says, if we stray from the truth of God's word, there are always consequences. That's what you were just praying about, Alicia. Mm. Every time I sin, someone else is affected. Either they share in the bad that results or they are robbed of the good that would have come if I had not Mm. sinned. Yeah. When Eve began her conversation with the serpent, she had no idea how far reaching the consequences would be. Likewise, we often treat our own temptations with equal disregard. We fail to realize that sin has consequences that reach for generations. Every time I sin, someone else is affected. They may be affected directly through some consequence of the sin, or they may be affected indirectly through the loss of the ministry and life I would have given if I had continued walking with God. Ooh, that's deep. We Mm -hmm. learn painfully from Eve that talking with the devil and walking with the Lord do not go hand in hand. They certainly don't. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Looking at Genesis 3, 4, and 5, how does Satan cast doubt on the things God had said concerning the forbidden tree? You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Oof. So Mm -hmm. how does Satan cast doubt on the things God had said? considering or concerning the forbidden tree how does he cast out i mean oh go ahead no i was just gonna say he makes us you know uh you know believe that what that what god has said he didn't really say it so he changes it so that it Mm -hmm. seems like something else you know like he was telling her that you know, you really won't die. You just become like God. You have all this knowledge. So, you know, he has ways to trick us and to have us believe certain things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, like Teresa was saying, no, not last week, because I was, yeah, but the week before when she before. said, when you were talking about slick, he's slick. <laughs> <laughs> those slick those slick people but he really he laid the groundwork so he says you know especially when you know he draws her into this whole discussion uh, with him and planted that seed of doubt you know did god say so he's he's having her doubt god's word and mm-hmm. the thing is what we need to remember is that you know Satan knows God too, and God's word. And he knew Mm -hmm. what he did was kind of expose her lack of understanding or her like incomplete understanding Mm -hmm. of God's word, you know, because Mm -hmm. when he said that she's like, well, and then she, you know, gave her rendition of what she thought God said and hers was wrong, you know? And so he really, you know, that's when he kind of really moved in for the kill because it was like this contradiction of what God had really said. And so when he, you know, when he said to her, you will be like God, uh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, when you think Mm -hmm. about that, it's like, you know, he's, he's trying to get her to doubt you know, the goodness of God, you know, she, he's saying to her like, oh, you're not going to die. God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes are going to be opened and you'll be like him, you know? And so she's thinking, well, yeah, wait, why wouldn't he want me to have something that's good? That's going to open my eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, forgetting that God doesn't lie, Satan lies, you know, he's the, he's the, what do they say? He's eyes or something father of lies or Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. but you know his main lie is to tell us that sin is not bad and that god is not good and in that moment you know thinking for a second that you're going to be like god Mm -hmm. is is 
a sin in itself. Like we can't even come close to, you know, people think they're gods, you know, but Mm -hmm. to be like God and, and to say that. And so, um, I don't know that whole, there's so much in that, you know, and it's, it's almost like he laid that groundwork, that slickness that he, Mm -hmm. but it, it seems like, you know, he's, you know, little step by step. Well, did God say, well, he knows that when you eat from that, you know, you're going to be like him. He doesn't want that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they could have, you know, 99% of everything that's there except for that part. And so the focuses on that. And so that he cast doubt in, in so many ways, he cast a doubt on God's word. He cast a doubt on, um, you know, that, that God was good, you know, doubting what, you know, he wanted for them or for her. And, um, and that's what's so important. You know, even today I look at, I was listening to this guy on the uh, TV and he, he's some kind of famous pastor in the Philippines and he has 6 million followers and he's wow. claiming to be, you know, Jesus Christ, like reincarnate. And I'm like, people do not read their Bible. They do not understand. (laughs) But yet and still, I mean, you look at him and what he's saying, and he did just like Satan. He just changes little things around. And and people believe him. I'm like, six million people, you know, are listening to him. That's going to end up going to hell because, you know, they believe that he's Jesus Christ. And it's just, it is, uh, it's just unbelievable. So many people are claiming to be, and you have to know God's word. You just can't accept it. Yeah. Yeah. And And we have to constantly check ourselves too, because, you know, it's easy for somebody to come in and to have you start questioning something. When right. you know better. Right. I got when I was reading over this and I was like, man, it's so easy. I mean, even when we it, it happens with us today, even if we know that something is supposed to go straight ahead down the center, mm-hmm. somebody will come and say, Well, so and so and so and so, and you'll be like, you start thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Right. It's your focus off of God. Once mm-hmm. you take your focus off of God, mm-hmm. you in for trouble. Mm-hmm. It happened. It happened. Has happened to me in the past. Yeah, that's all the time. I thank God for grace and mercy because. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's true. But, but when you start going there, it'll just kind of nudge and be like, "Wait a minute, think, mm-hmm. think about that again." You know, but yeah, yeah so careful. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy. You know, you think back, you know, like we're going through that study now in Kings and you think about how, you know, Israel started off and they just, mm-hmm. you know, he just wanted to change one thing. I don't want them to go there and worship. They can worship here. I'll build, you know, my own idols and gods and we can worship. And and it just shows you, you know, that one change led Israel, all the kings were evil after, you know, after that, that Jeroboam, all of them ended up being evil. And you just said, mm-hmm. wow, you know, just listening to that one mistake and how it wow. continues to grow and get worse. And, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't straddle the fence when you deal with God either. And that's what those kings were doing, they would get rid of some of the idols, but then mm-hmm. leave some, you know, yeah. instead of destroying everything. Yeah. That study is amazing. I'm I'm in awe with that. Me too. Yeah. That yeah is. Really. And you know, it's funny, like Alicia, what you were saying, how this this, you know, guy sprinkles some truth in there. And, you know, 6 million people are listening to him, but what he's saying is, is not right, you know, but I think Mm -hmm. that's how, 
you know, even here with like Satan's temptation, it, it, it makes the temptation more powerful when there's truth in it. And I think that's, you know, sure. goes along with what Teresa said, like you really need to focus on God mm -hmm. and know the word and really, you know, be careful because, you know, even here where he's like, oh, your eyes will be opened. Yeah, their eyes were open, but it was it was to their own <laughs> sin, you know, mm -hmm. and and their rebellion, you know, they were they were like, and they immediately felt ashamed, and you know, it's like if you know a, a blind person was was promised sight, but all they could see was you know Fox News or something, and they didn't know it. Sorry, <laughs> or you know, if if a deaf person was promised that they could hear but all that they are able to hear is screaming or horrible things or my upstairs neighbors. But, you know, he, he, <laughs> he puts these little partial truths in there and some people do, and that's how they manipulate. And it, it yeah. empowers the temptation. And so when you're mm. like, oh, okay, well, that part's true. When you mix it in there, it makes the whole thing a lie. But when you're talking about temptation and what, you know, Satan did here to Eve and what people still do today, mm -hmm. they sprinkle mm -hmm. a little bit of that truth to hook you in because it makes their, it makes that manipulation or that temptation even stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if there's a little bit of truth in it, or, you know, when someone's trying to get you to believe something and, you know, they'll, they'll sprinkle truth in it, but then, you know, they'll, they'll just embellish and the whole thing is bull, but, you know, you don't know that. Um, Until, yeah. Powerful when they, when they add a little bit of truth, because then they've got you. And, you know, unless you're, you know, unless you're, um, alert and aware and staying on top of things you really mm -hmm. I think that's a lot of times too how we get stuck in these these spiritual mm -hmm. bear traps of you know uh, like Eve I mean not really like Eve but like Eve you know Eve had a whole <laughs> when mm -hmm. it said she didn't know the severity or whatever of what she was doing, what she was doing. Did, like dude if, i don't think anyone oh my gosh that was a big one yeah but yeah all right so it says michelle you have anything oh uh just very much you guys hit on it it's it, the only thing that i had thought is that when um when uh, Eve was hearing that she could know good and evil, that was very subtle. And how many times, sometimes I've been duped into thinking, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? For me to be able to distinguish between good and evil, <laughs> you know, that's probably what, what she might've been thinking. That's a good thing. Cause then I'll know then to know how to choose the truth instead of, you know, choosing the evil. But even if we're trying to, think what we're doing might be a good thing it's not going to be a good thing if it is against the directive god. that god said to do yep. so mm -hmm. you want to go for the best thing god's that god said this that's the best thing even though what she was thinking innocently oh, i think knowing good from evil i can do good but mm -hmm. that's not, that wasn't what it was about. It was about obedience. So, mm -hmm. and it was really. That's a lesson we learned. We strive to learn. Yeah. Time. yeah. It's like, uh, I was just sitting here thinking as you were talking that if she had to just thought about it for a second, mm. talk to God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, if she had to just redirected her focus. Mm. Yes. Mm, that doesn't sound quite right and talk yes. out of it, yeah. which we're supposed to do in our life, which is a lesson that I'm constantly striving to get stronger and stronger at is when something is going on to mm -hmm. I'm unsure I have any doubt at all to take it to the cross uh, mm -hmm. because I already know from my track track record that uh <laughs> yeah. 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 that my track record isn't holding up very well I'll right. say that I can, I can make a mess very quick a royal mess yes, right. 
Yeah, well, you know, it's funny because that really, um, you know, that whole you'll be like God knowing good and evil. That was really kind of the kill shot to Eve, you know, from him because, you know, that's how Satan fell. He wanted to be equal with God. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think mm -hmm. about it, that is really how he fell. And so, and then she tried to do the same and that's rebellion. You know, that's yeah. wanting to be equal with God. That's rebelling. And that's, that's never good, you know, but, you know, I thought about that when she says, you'll be like God. I'm like, didn't, you know, how'd that work out for him? Because <laughs> he also wanted to be equal with God and oh, he no. still has a problem with that. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely and the, the thing about it is you know like she looked at the fruit and they said oh it was the most beautiful thing the tree that she had ever seen when mm -hmm. she looked upon it and that just shows you know like the devil put things in front of us that yeah. look really good yeah. and we could we should try it you know it won't hurt you and i just look at you know so many people well if i just take this pill you know this will get me you know, through what I'm going through. And pretty soon you become addicted because I need a few more and a few more. And, you know, but when you start mm -hmm. off, it, it looks good and it makes me feel good and it gets me through a certain point. But mm -hmm. the long run, you know, we've messed up our life. Yes. And like, the, like it said in the chapter, not just ours, those around us and mm -hmm. everything else, it has the domino effect. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. why that generational prayer thing is very important. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. That is so true. Mm -hmm. So true. All right. It says Satan calls in to questions two significant things in these verses. First, by saying, you surely shall not die. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my glasses are dirty and I keep doing this because yeah, I'm me. seeing spots. Me too. Mm -hmm. uh, he cast doubt on the truthfulness of what God said. Second, by saying, for God knows that in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Satan invites Eve to doubt the goodness of God's motives. He suggests that God is withholding something good from Eve. Mm -hmm. Compare Genesis 3 and 6 with 1 John 2.16 and identify the parallels in Satan's temptation. So Genesis 3 and 6 says, When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. 1 John 2.16 says, for everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to ask if Diane had any comments on what we had, were saying earlier, too. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm She's good. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah. just go, you know, go ahead and say it. Sometimes I forget, you know. When we're going along. All right. So uh, let's see. What does it yeah. say? Oh, identify the parallels. All right. So the lust of the flesh. Uh, that was oh. desiring seeing something and wanting it, right? Yeah. You know, that, looking at the fruit. Yes. It yeah, because it said she took she saw that it was good for food mm -hmm. um, and pleasing exactly so mm -hmm. that would be and how it would satisfy her flesh mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. so she went after the lust of the flesh there mm -hmm. right so the lust the parallel the lust of the flesh for Eve was that she saw the fruit of the tree was good for food. Mm -hmm. So she knew that that would well, uh, how how taste, how good it would taste, that it would satisfy her mm -hmm. flesh. Right. Mm -hmm. Her flesh was curious. Mm -hmm. And that it would make her have wisdom. 
That yes. was a desire too, that she wanted to have wisdom so that mm -hmm. she could, um, in John, it says boasting of what he has and does. So her wanting the wisdom was a desire so she could say, look what I have. I have wisdom. I'm smart. I'm capable. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And then the lust of the eyes. Stop it, Cinnamon. The lust of the eyes. And that's when I, you know, it says pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she. Yeah. No, Would that be knowledge and goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, she saw that it was pretty, it was desirable, right? So mm -hmm. she's seeing it now. So the left right. of, lust of the flesh was that she saw that it was good for food and that it mm -hmm. would, you know, like, like Teresa said, her lust was, um, mm -hmm. or her flesh was curious, right? Mm -hmm. And then what she was seeing, it. yeah, what yeah, she was seeing, mm-hmm, um, Uh, yeah. it, it it was kind of pleasing to let's see um kind of like the artistic sense you know when you see something um that's pretty mm. that you can see pretty to you through your eyes you I don't know it's kind of a lust of the eyes I don't know mm. you know like for me certain cheesecakes you know when I look <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to make me feel better. I know it's going to taste really good. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Just one little bite. Absolutely. Uh, but I, you know, I end up like the golden girls where they just got the forks and went at it and didn't even bother with the plate, you know? <laughs> yeah. Me at Chocolate City the other day. The chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! With the caramel apple with nuts on it. Oh my God! Oh Lord! Oh, oh the... no! That sounds mm. good. Mm. It was, it took me a couple of days to get through it, but I did. I did <laughs> <get> it all. <laughs> I know it. Oh, I love caramel apples with nuts on it. See, look oh, at the discussion. It's exactly it. That's exactly. Yeah. Now, see, y'all, see, that's the temptation right there. There it is. It is. Well, wait a minute. And I'm going to help you out with me. I didn't have to walk by Chocolate Factory. Okay. <laughs> I could have went in another direction <laughs> for me to walk by Chocolate Factory. <laughs> so here I go. Okay. Let's walk this way. Let's go this way. Right, walk by faith, not by sight. <laughs> it was the lust of the it's eyes and all of that, all of that we just right. talked about. I know. Oh, that's, wow. that's like going to the fairgrounds and you see all those things that you desire, those sticky mm -hmm. buns and those, and the smells. you know. The yeah. Hair smells. The funnel cakes. <laughs> uh, everything that you desire. It's like going through Sin City, you know, <laughs> all, the, all yeah. those temptations. <laughs> and we pay for it, okay? Yes. Sure do. <laughs> I pay for that apple. <laughs> yes. What is that saying? A, a moment on your lips and forever on your hips? All right, yes. now, all right, all right. Yes, I've had right. many of those moments. Those moments are piling up. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Uh, yes, we, yes. we can relate, Eve. We can relate. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If only they'd have had caramel apples and cheesecake back then, maybe her focus would have gone. <laughs> We'd be in the same bit of trouble. That's right. Oh, no. That's right. Oh. That big leaf fitting a little tight this week. <laughs> <laughs> But I get a whole bush of leaves, okay? <laughs> I need some extra leaves in my fig leaf. <laughs> That's why God said those leaves ain't going to cut it. You need some skins on oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs>
Oh, Lord. Digress. Okay, Lord, thank you. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> but it's so true how something food. so little just relates to what Yes. That's right. Oh, my. Yes. All right. The boastful pride of life. Okay. So in that one, <clears throat> when it said, and also desirable for gaining wisdom. So I think that, you know, she thought it would make her wise, obviously, that um, boastful pride of life, but also how smart it would make her. Like Alicia said, you know, there's these, you know, everyone's got a pill or a gummy bear for everything now. You know, it's going to make you this, it's going to make you that or whatever. And so you know, maybe how much her husband would admire her. Oh, she's so smart. She's like, God, she's this, she, that. And, you know, she went after that pride of life, but, you know, we still do that today, like certain fads or gimmicks, or, you know, there's always something promises of, oh, this is going to make you lose weight. This is going to make all your problems go. Uh -huh. We're saying Alicia, you know, and so that, <laughs> that pride of life or that, you know, oh, all your wrinkles are going to disappear. Well, you know, that sounds great, but I earned these babies. <laughs> a lot of years went into this, <laughs> but you know. I know, it, it's, it's so funny because I was looking at this thing with Oprah Winfrey and I don't know how many diet things that she has gone on and mm -hmm. advocated for and said how wonderful yeah. they were. And she even brought, mm -hmm. bought Weight Watchers and then now she has these little gummy pills that I'm like, woman, <laughs> you know. I mean, back and forth, and she just talks about how wonderful it is and how great it is, and people just flock to it and buy them. Because, because it's her. Yeah. 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 You know, I say they don't realize behind that she has her own chef. <laughs> That's cooking exactly. her meals for her. She can and her own fitness to go get trainer. that stuff cut out. Yes, you know? her own fitness trainer. That's so, right. You know, you don't see any of that. Just like, just take this. This is wonderful for you. I'm <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we have to remember it's not in God's nature to influence us through the lust of the flesh or the lust of the eyes or the, you know, pride of life or that. It's not, that's not God's nature. And I think we get so caught up sometimes, like we were saying, you know, in things that we see or, you know, and that instant um, gratification sometimes that we want and, uh, mm -hmm. Or it, or it, or it, um, it plays on an insecurity or something of ours, you know? And so it's something that, you know, and these, and these, you know, even on the internet, all these things, all of the sudden you start getting a lot more of these ads for certain things, you know, that, mm -hmm. that maybe happen at a certain age. Well, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been dealing with that. I kind of, you know, or it's something mm -hmm. that you think about or something yeah. maybe you're insecure about or, or whatever it is. And so you start getting these different ads and, or things pop up on your, you know, your thing, or, you know, even those gummies, I've seen those Oprah gummy things, you know, mm -hmm. or they're, you know, I'm getting a lot of stuff about menopause belly and menopause weight gain I'm like, get out of my house you know, you know? <laughs> but they you know they do they start to um you know you start to see these things and it's like oh my lord you know you could really get caught up I don't click on them but you know a lot of people do and these things are are selling like crazy because they prey on, on insecurities or wants or, you know, boastful mm -hmm. prides, uh -huh. lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is. And, and it just, it's, it's so yes. prevalent right now. And I think it adds to all of the, the problems and, you know, things that we're seeing that no matter what we go through, instead of going to God, who forget that they got a gummy for that, you know, <laughs> I can just take this, I can just do that. I can just go mm -hmm. here. And it's like, no, no, no. Some stuff you really need to, you really need to work through and focus that, you know, a few wrinkles mm -hmm. are not, you know, what it's all about. Like, I don't know. 
Okay. Yeah. That's Onward, looking closely at Genesis 3 and 6 in the light of 1 John, the parallel is obvious. The statement, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, would seem to correlate with the lust of the flesh. We said that. The phrase, and that it was a delight to the eyes, connects directly with the lust of the eyes. Finally, and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, appears to be the same issue as the boastful pride of life. It would seem that all temptation could be traced to these three enticements. See also Jesus's temptation in the wilderness in Matthew 4. I think we all know that, right? Yeah. The sin mm -hmm. in the garden was, and for those of you out there in internet land, if you don't, go read Matthew 4. <laughs> It's, I think most people have, have read it or heard of it. The sin in the garden was more than eating forbidden fruit. It was disobeying the revealed word of believing the lies of the enemy and Adam and Eve placing their own will above God's will. Woo! Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Where a court, is this the last? Oh, it is. It is. Okay. Okay, this is the yeah. last part. Oh, mm -hmm. Didn't do too bad. Where, according to Genesis 3 and 6, was Adam during Eve's temptation? <laughs> uh, right there. My Bible says mm -hmm. <laughs> that he was there with her. Right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Uh, exactly right. You know, and I, I don't know how many times I have read that, you know, and I never connected that, you know, he was right there, that she just gave it to him. I'm like, dude, where were you <laughs> to stop her? You know, it's like, he was there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I thought she had to go and find him and bring him back, <laughs> you know, hmm. something. All right. Yeah. Like, why did he even allow that serpent to talk to her? You know, why was he... And so that's, you know, a lot of times that they'll say that it falls back on Adam. Adam was responsible for that, you know, but which is mm -hmm. fine with me. The text tells us that Eve, after <laughs> eating the fruit, gave also to her husband with her and he ate, emphasis added. It would appear that Adam was with her all the time, but said nothing. Hmm. This would make him just as guilty as she was, not only because he ate of the fruit also, but because he failed to fulfill his leadership role in the relationship. Oh, boy. Thoughts? <laughs> he was supposed to be the leader. I don't think anything would have happened had he not eaten. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Mm -hmm. If he had said, no, you shouldn't have eaten it, and I'm not going to eat it, and that would have been it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have no way of knowing that, but when you read on, you kind of get the feeling that that's nothing happened when she ate it. Mm -hmm. And everything went kaput after she ate it. Yeah, they recognized then that they were naked, you know. Because uh, before it was when she ate it, they didn't say anything about them being naked. But yeah. he ate it and it's like, what? We're naked. Let's go hide from God. Yeah. Well, when he told God, he said, because he didn't go after Eve, he went after Adam and said, mm -hmm. where are you? And he said, well, I, you know, I was, what did he say? I was I ran, I, I hid because I was naked or because I, something, I can't remember the exact wording. And he said, who told you you were naked? <laughs> like a black mm -hmm. person. Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? <laughs> who told you that? Who told you you were naked? How'd you know that? <laughs> Yeah, but that's just me. I'm I, just certain things that you hear makes you think certain things. I know, uh -huh. I know. I think of that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly.
like your parents know why why you did what you did before. Yes. Yes. While they're waiting for you to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and figure it out. And they not <laughs> right. And our right. ignorant behind was sitting there still trying to lie. And they were like, oh, <laughs> I bad. know. They like, let you go through all of that so they can yeah. just whip you afterwards. <laughs> That's right. right. You should have just told the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I should. <laughs> you know, that also exemplifies the fact that God instituting marriage that uh, the man and woman become one is that when Eve doing what she did alone, not so, but when they were in concert together doing this, then that is they were one. You know, they're mm -hmm. one. This is this is this is the consequence of being complicit and working, you know, being together in that way. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Kind of brings that out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, huh. Okay. Okay. Well, anyone else? This is a good lesson. I think that was a little. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, we skipped a page. No wonder. But yeah. Hmm. So the next one, we're still on Eve on this one too. Day four. How many days of Eve? Probably that's going to be. Day four. Four or five. Four oh, day five. Five. five days. Five days. Yeah. So two okay. more on Eve. And then we got uh, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Eve jump started this whole thing here. She sure <laughs> did. Well, she did, and then she did. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo! Go, Eve. My goodness. Oh, no. All right. Wow. Well, well, look at everything that followed Cain and Abel, and oh, my goodness. Yeah, they, did. they didn't get off easy, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, any uh, any last thoughts or anything? Nobody, huh? No, got to get to now. What did she say? She said she enjoyed listening in too. Oh, oh, good. We were glad oh, to have you. Glad to have Absolutely you. Absolutely glad to have yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I know everybody. I think everyone wants cheesecake now or, or caramel apple. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get something. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want one of those beautiful fruit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. My fruit was covered with caramel. <laughs> Yes. 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 <laughs> and nuts, that's right. Ooh. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'll quickly pray us out and then we can go about our night. All right. Gracious time. All right. Okay. We just thank you. We thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see yes. another day to rejoice and be glad in Lord. We just Thank you for sight. We thank you for our hearing and and a mind to think and a mouth to speak. And Lord, we just uh, we just thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you're going to do in our lives. And Lord, we we ask uh, for forgiveness of our sins, known and unknown. And we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your loving kindness. And Lord, we just continue to ask you and pray that you guide us and protect us and and help us to forgive those who trespass against us. And Lord, we thank yes. you all of us that are able to be here tonight, all the families that are represented, and for Sister Diane joining us tonight. And Lord, we just want to say a special prayer for those ladies that weren't able to join us, and we lift them up and their families. And Lord, we know that uh, wherever they are, they're, they're praising you. And, and Lord, we just want to you know, keep all of those prayer requests and things going on in the world that we lifted up to you at the beginning. We just want to continue to lift those prayers up to you and for Teresa's friend, Gail, Lord, and you know, put your hedge of protection and light and healing around her now. And we just thank you that she has 
friends like Teresa and her family around her. And Lord, we just ask that you bring her that peace that surpasses all understanding and that she knows right now. And we claim that victory in you, Lord, and for her grandchildren, for all of our children, our youth, Lord, and for Mm -hmm. Berkeley, California, and the McGee Baptist Church, Lord, and that congregation. Lord, we lift them up to you. And just for churches all around the world, praising your holy name, Lord. For all the ministries that are out there, Lord, we just ask that you continue to bless them and keep them. And Lord, for our children, our grandchildren, our our youth in general, Lord, and and that all of their seeing and learning right now, Lord, that mm. all of that that they have someone in their lives that that tells them about Jesus and tells them about the power of God and. And that that is where that they get their wisdom from, Lord, and and not all these fruit trees around the world that come in forms of, mm-hmm. you know, ah. net and guns and violence and and all of these things Lord, that they look to you, you know, in in all of their confusion and their anger and no matter what, Lord, that Please you God. are the or you are the ultimate creator. Everything we need yeah. you, and so Lord, we just ask that you help us to and help the world to be able to guide and 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 protect and and help these people and these our youth that are just getting the wrong idea about who the life giver is and how important and precious life is that we're put here to do your will and each one of us has a special will to do lord in our life for you and so lord we just pray that that we continue to find that will that you have for our lives and lord we just Thank you for this Bible study and this this study in Eve and for the fellowship and funship it, it tends to bring in the discussions, yes. the Lord, as we yeah. get closer and stronger in our relationship with you and each other. And Lord, we just ask that your word continue to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we ask you to just bless our homes and our families as we we leave this Bible study, but never your presence, Lord. And we thank you. We love you. We honor and worship you. It's your holy name. And we pray all of this in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God. Amen. 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 Good to see you guys. Good to see okay. you too. And we will see you again soon. Sunday thank and you. Tuesday and whenever we see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Talk All to you right. later. Have a good night. Bye. 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 All right. Stay safe and good. All right. Cool.